Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. I would be remiss of me not to do a show for you on Christmas Eve. I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody or whatever you're doing. I hope you're enjoying it with your friends and family. It's been a fantastic year for That's Football. We've built a brilliant community here. We've done the World Cup, loads of watch-alongs, loads to come in 2023 as well. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment on this Christmas Eve to say thank you to all of you. Um, I really enjoy doing this channel. I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, but we're here to talk about the Premier League being back. The Premier League is back. We're going to look at the fixtures over the weekends and uh, analyse that. But also, the, as it says in the bottom right, bottom left hand corner, who wins the January transfer window? This is so big. You know, if you want success in May, you've got to spend in January. It's as simple as invest in January for success in May. Simple as that. Look at Spurs last year. Kulisevsky and Ben Tanker, all right, they were on loan, but there are some loan deals that can be done this January. Um, they got top four. Arsenal ignored it. Man United ignored it. They didn't get top four. If you ignore this January transfer window in a season where you're going to be playing loads of games until the end of May and we've had a World Cup, I think your season will implode. So Arsenal, Manchester United, Chelsea, Spurs, Liverpool, Newcastle, who's going to win this January transfer window? Because I think they've all got to invest. And if you don't and you gamble that you're going to be OK, I don't think it's going to work out. I think there's going to be a lot of injuries and a lot of tired players in the latter half of this season. And that is where you need fresh impetus in there. So we'll have a look at that in a minute as well. But let's have a look at the weekend fixtures because, you know, getting back into it might not be as easy as you thought. So Brentford plays Spurs at 12.30 on Saturday, on, on Boxing Day. Um, Crystal Palace play Fulham, Everton play Wolves, Leicester play Newcastle, Southampton play Brighton, Villa play Liverpool and Arsenal play West Ham. Then on the 27th, you've got Chelsea playing Bournemouth at home, Manchester United playing Forest, and then the final fixture is Leeds against Man City, which is on Wednesday the 28th. And then we've got another round um, on the Friday starting again. So it's interesting, isn't it? I think when you look at the league table at the moment, um, where you are is important. I, I said this uh, the other day. You can't say this is a really competitive Premier League and then say it'll be easy for Liverpool or Chelsea to make up the points on Tottenham and Newcastle. Now, at the moment, Chelsea are nine points off Newcastle and eight points off Spurs with the game in hand. And Liverpool are eight points off Newcastle in third and seven points off Spurs with the game in hand. But game in hand, what does that mean? It means you've got a game in hand. But I think at the moment, points on the table is important because I look at that Premier League table and I think, well... You know, seven points is quite significant to make up. I mean, where are your points coming from? I mean, even Wolves at the bottom have got a new manager now. Southampton, all right, you'd probably fancy that. Forest, you'd fancy beating them. And then you're into Everton's and West Ham's and Leeds and Bournemouth's and Leicester's. They're all capable of getting a result. So I think that at the moment, Newcastle and Spurs, with the points on the table, really, really good position to be in. And... Can they build on it? Can they build on it this weekend? So you've got Arsenal top, Man City second, Newcastle third, Tottenham fourth, then there's a gap to Man United in fifth, and then you've got Liverpool sixth, Brighton seventh, Chelsea eighth. So let's have a look at the weekend fixtures and um, just have a look at what that could mean. Spurs kicking off against Brentford at Brentford on Boxing Day lunchtime. You win that game and you're sort of like saying to everybody else before they've even started, we're not giving up top four. But if you if you don't win that game, it sort of opens the door to everyone else. So I think it's a massive game. Brentford, you never know what you're going to get with Brentford. Um, certainly didn't have loads of players in the World Cup, did they? So, But that might not be a good thing. I watched United play in the Carabao Cup uh, the other night against Burnley. And in our team, the players that looked rusty were the players that didn't go to the World Cup because they've obviously had a bit of a break. Players who went to the World Cup look sharp. So maybe that'll be a positive for Spurs. And I'm going to go with the Spurs win 2-1. Crystal Palace against Fulham. Look, these are teams that are around that sort of mid-table area. Three o'clock kickoff on Boxing Day. 1-1 one, one for me. Everton Wolves right down near the bottom. Wolves are bottom. Everton sort of down there. So hard to predict who's going to get relegated this year. Really hard. Um, my prediction at the moment is probably Bournemouth, Wolves and Forest. But Southampton could be down there. Um, it's important Everton win that game against Wolves. Uh, Wolves have got Man United at home after Everton on New Year's Eve. So Wolves need a result as well. But I think I'm going to go with an Everton 1-0 win there. Wolves struggle to score goals. Um, Leicester against Newcastle. This is a massive game for Newcastle. These are the sort of games that if you go and win, you will get top four. So I think Leicester-Newcastle, 3 o'clock on Boxing Day, is one of the games of the day I'll be keeping an eye on when I'm tucking into my turkey sandwiches and playing a bit of Monopoly because... I do think that that is a game where Leicester have been really good. And at home, I fancy Leicester to get a, a, at least a point. 
But if Newcastle go there and win, it really puts a statement down that we've got no European football and we are serious about getting top four. So I'm going to go 1-1 Leicester Newcastle. Southampton Brighton, Southampton in trouble. Brighton having a good season. You'd fancy Brighton to win that. But you know what? I think a break, Southampton at home, Boxing Day crowd. I think we'll get a Southampton win there. I'm going to go 2-1. And then Villa Liverpool's really interesting at half five on Boxing Day. Tough place to go for Liverpool. Um, Villa under Emery are, you know, much better than they were under Gerrard. You can't underestimate these Boxing Day crowds. Also, no one's had any Premier League football for six weeks. I think it might be a tough place. It's not an ideal game for Liverpool, and they desperately need to win because by that time they might know that Newcastle and Spurs have won and extended that gap. So they've got to go to Villa and win. But I think that might be a tough game. I'm going to go 1-1 with that one as well. Arsenal against West Ham. I think Arsenal. That's not the sort of game that Arsenal are going to drop points in. I don't predict Arsenal to win the league, but I don't think they're going to drop points in that game. So I'm going to go 2-0 Arsenal. I think they'll be quite comfortable in that. Uh, at home helps them. Chelsea home to Bournemouth have to win. There's, you can't have Graham Potter coming out and saying, you know, we played well but lost. He's got to get that winning mentality into that team. And I don't think Chelsea can get top four this year. I think it's going to be very difficult. But if they're going to do it, you've got to, you've got to beat Bournemouth at home. Bournemouth are a decent side. Um, but Chelsea have got to win that. I'm going to go 3-1 Chelsea. And Man United against Forest. Comfortable home win for the United. Um, I think Forest have scored one goal in seven games away from home. 2-0, um, 3-0, 4-0. United win for me. And then Leeds Man City on Wednesday. It feels like a long way away because it's the last game of the Premier League. But um, uh, Boxing Day fixtures, whatever you want to call them. Um, look, I think Man City are going to go like a train now. They look very good in the Carabao Cup. Uh, De Bruyne looks good, Haaland looks hungry, so many good players, Foden, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, Gundogan, I just I just can't see Leeds living with them and Leeds will play in a way that suits Man City as well so I could see a 4-1 or something like that, I think Man City could, could give them a good hiding really so that's my predictions for the Premier League predictions, um, let me know what yours are in the video description. Um, also just want to talk about the January transfer, transfer window like I spoke about at the start. Newcastle away to Leicester, Spurs away to Brentford, Liverpool away to um, Villa, Man United at home, Chelsea at home. This one week could change things in the top four race. Those gaps that teams like Newcastle and Spurs have got could go bigger or could go smaller. Um, January transfer window is basically a week away and I just think they've all got to spend. And if they don't spend, you're, you're basically conceding you're not going to get in the top four race. I, th I think for Arsenal, it's more about the title. I don't think for them it's about a top four race, but they, they do need to get somebody in. But for Newcastle, Spurs, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, they, they've got to get players in. And, you know, it's not always easy to do it. But if you don't do it, I guarantee, I, I'll be very, very surprised if I'm wrong on this. I really do think we're going to be in a situation whereby teams are in trouble in March when players who went to the World Cup are knackered, people are out of form, injuries, and ultimately the team that gets the least injuries um, does well. So be interested to see how it works, but um, I'm very interested to see this weekend. I'm looking forward to it. In relation to watch-alongs, somebody said, are you doing any watch-alongs over the Christmas period? Well, I don't like to do anything on Boxing Day unless it's Manchester United, so that stops that. Um, I will be doing Man United against Forest on, on the 27th at 8 o'clock, and I'll probably do Leeds Man City on Wednesday the 28th. Um, yeah, I probably will do that. Um, and yeah, it's difficult over the festive period. I'll be watching a lot of football, but don't necessarily be doing many watch-alongs. But there'll be loads more in the new year, so make sure you smash a like and subscribe. And we'll see how these Premier League predictions go, because I want to start tracking them and see how I'm doing. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas. A big shout-out for you all this year, and uh, take care.